Hi boys and girls, welcome back. Today we're going to learn how to add and subtract mixed numbers to solve word problems. Our first problem says Tyler mixes one and two fifths liters of iced tea and two and one fifth liters of lemonade to make a drink. How many liters of the drink does Tyler mix? So we're going to start by looking at the first part. So one and two fifth liters. So we're going to draw out our bar model. So we have a liter is broken into five parts. And we know since there's one whole and two fifths, we're going to have to use two bar models to show that. So I'm going to write out one and two fifths and shade that into my bar model. So now I've shaded in one whole and two parts of the second liter. He's going to also get lemonade. So this was iced tea. He has lemonade. So if he's getting an additional product, he's going to be adding on. So we're going to again draw a picture of the bar model to illustrate the, the lemonade now. Now we have two holes and a partial part. So we're going to actually need three bar models to show the lemonade. Again, our liters are broken into fifths because our denominator is fifth. So we're going to be adding one and two fifths plus two and one fifth. So let's shade in two and one fifth in our picture. So now we have two holes and one fifth. Now we can look at the picture to see what our total would be. I see I have one, two, three full liters pulled together. So that's three holes plus one, two, three parts. So that would be three fifths. So all together we have three holes and three fifths or three and three fifths liter. So when adding mixed numbers, first you're going to add the whole number and then add the numerators. Here's some examples. If I have two and three eighths plus three and two eighths, I'm going to start by adding my two whole numbers. Three plus two is five. Then, since my denominators are the same, all I have to do is add my numerators. 3 plus 2 is 5, so I'll have 5 eighths. So my total would be 5 and 5 eighths. If I had the problem 4 and 2 sevenths plus 1 and 4 sevenths, again I'm going to start by adding my whole numbers. 1 plus 4 is 5. Then add my numerators. 2 plus 4 is 6, so I'd get 5 and six sevens. All right, let's look at a, a problem that revolves subtraction. Marla has two and three fourths cups of flour. She uses one and one fourth cup of flour to make biscuits. How much flour does Marla have left? So we know she's starting with a portion, she's using some, and she's seeing what's left. So that tells us we're going to need to subtract. We're going to start off with our total, which was two and three fourths cup. So Again, my picture is going to be a cup broken into four parts because my denominator is four. And I have two full cups and then a part of another cup. So I need three bar models. So I'm going to write two and three fourths at the bottom. And I'm going to fill in two and three fourths on my bar models. So I have one, two, and three fourths. This time we're not getting more, instead we're going to be taking away. So we need to subtract one and one fourth. So to do that, I'm going to cross out one whole and one part of the fourth. Notice this time, instead of cut continuing on, I chose to cut it off at the end just so that I could keep my one whole together to make it easier to see. So now when I look at the picture, I can see that I have one whole plus two more parts. So I have, an, it will equal one and two fourths. This could also be written as one and one half because you see that there's one half is the same as two fourths. So when you're subtracting mixed numbers, you're always gonna start with the number that lar has the largest whole number. Just like it, in other subtraction, you always wanna start with the bigger number first. So the whole number is what we're looking for first. If the numerator in the first number, the larger number, is larger than the numerator in the second number, then you're not going to need to regroup, and you can first subtract the whole number and then subtract the numerators. Let's see some examples. If I have 5 and 7 twelfths minus 3 and 4 twelfths, I'm going to start with subtracting 5 minus 3. 5 minus 3 is 2. Then I'm going to subtract the numerators, 7 minus 4, which 
which is 3. So I'd have 2 and 3 twelfths. Another problem, if I have 4 fifths minus 1 and 3 ninths, I'm going to start by subtracting 4 minus 1, which is 3, and then 5 minus 3, which is 2. So I'd have 3 and 2 ninths. So really, when you're adding and subtracting mixed numbers, you're going to start by adding or subtracting the whole number, and then adding or subtracting the numerators, as long as the denominators are the same. And if you're subtracting, that your numerator in the first number is larger than the numerator in the second number. I hope this was helpful. Click like below and subscribe for more lessons for the Math Maniac. Have a great day.